Hello, Pod is the best for UK here and welcome to today's Game of Day video. Now today's game is Navy Seals, the Commodore Amiga version. So I remember back in the day I had this on the uh, Commodore 64 as an ocean cartridge in fact and it was really good on the Commodore 64, really hard though. Don't think I've played the Amiga version before so uh, yeah, it's by Ocean as you can see and uh, it's based on the 1990 movie from Orion Pictures. Uh, I think they had Bill Paxton in didn't they? But yeah, this is Navy Seals. I've never saw the movie, um, but I seem to remember it having Bill Paxton in it. Okay, so let's start the game. So we are like sort of like a dockyard, like a sort of, I don't know, like a marina or something. So I get some nice music and you are, you are Navy Seals. Okay, so you've got your weapon and what you got to do on each level is you've got to defuse all the bombs. So you, you can see on the bottom, ow, oh you fuck. So you see on the bottom it says nine bombs. That's how many bombs you've got to, that's the quota of bombs that you've got to defuse on this level. Oh you fuck, you just shot me here. So yep. So I remember on the Commodore 64 version it had music all the way through but it had no sound effects. I don't know if you can change it on the Amiga version where you can have music instead, I couldn't tell you. Um, but yep, okay so. We've got just sound effects alone at the minute. Okay, so let's climb up these crates and uh, walk past. Graphics are good, nicer detail in the uh, like the world and stuff. Like the brickwork of the buildings looks apart, and it's it's not it's nicely drawn. There's another bomb. So you walk into the bombs. They're the ones with the American flags on. You walk into them to uh, set the timers. So actually, I don't think you actually defuse them. I think you actually set them off, don't you, or something? So we've got eight to go. So the eight, the quota's eight. Pick up this machine gun here. Okay, so let's proceed on. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I remember having this on the Commodore 64. It was in cartridge form, the copy I had. I think you could also get it on tape and diskette as well, but this is the Amiga version, of course, and uh, the Commodore 64 version wasn't bad. I'm just going to go into the main menu, see if I can get the uh, picture to fill the screen. Let's try auto crop. Um, that's one good thing about the Amiga 500 Mini is you can uh, fill the screen to fit the, uh, the, the uh, screen. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, that's now full, filled the screen, so we haven't got the border anymore. So that's one of the neat tricks you can do on the Amiga 500 Mini, which obviously you couldn't do on the uh, original Amiga. Oh, you fuck, you just shot me in the back. Right, okay, so let's proceed on. Um, yeah, I'm ab as you can see, I'm absolutely terrible at this game. Um, I was never any good at the Commodore 64 version. In fact, I never got off the first level in all the years I had it. And it was a Christmas present at the time. I think it came on a white cartridge, and it had an ocean in bossed logo on the cartridge as well I think if I remember correctly and uh, yep so this is the Amiga version I keep going on about Commodore 64 version don't I and uh, yep not a bad little game to be honest um, if you like these type of games it's I must warn you though it's a really 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 challenging game it's really hard to play um, you, you, it's a lot harder than it looks oh you fucking just shot me from a diagonal point of view up there oh game over but you do get continues on the game if I remember correctly uh, Okay, so this is Navy Seals, and I'm going to give this one on this bank holiday a nice uh, 8 out of 10, and it seems to run really well on the system. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!